Hello everyone, welcome to this Dynerd Need UG channel. In this video, we are going to look at Karnataka, its quotas and what is the eligibility. So let's get started. So we'll look at the Karnataka quotas and eligibility. So the first quota is Karnataka government quota. So under government quota, there are different categories. So GM, GMH, 1G, 2AG, etc. So there are different categories that come under the Karnataka government quota. So the eligibility for this is candidates are eligible based on the clauses a20, A2O listed on the prospectus. So on the prospectus, if you go through the clauses, clause A, clause B, clause C, till uh, clause O, there are clauses that which are listed there. And for these clauses, each clause has its own eligibility and the documents that are required to become part of that clause. So if you come under these clauses, then you are eligible for the Karnataka government quota seats. Next is the Karnataka private seats under GMP quota okay so there is GMP quota which is the general merit private quota so for this quota only candidates of Karnataka are eligible okay so Karnataka private seats GMP quota next is the Karnataka private seats minority quota so under minority quota there are different categories so MA, MC, ME and so on and under this under the minority there are two types of minority one is the religious minority and one is the linguistic minority so uh, the eligibility slightly changes here for the religious minority both karnataka and non karnataka candidates are eligible but there is a priority order okay so the priority the first priority will be given to karnataka domiciled religious minority candidates who have studied in karnataka for a period of 10 years so they should have studied for 10 years from 1st standard to 12th standard. So between 1st standard to 12th standard, if they had studied for 10 years, then they'll be considered under religious minority priority one. And the second type of minority is linguistic minority. Linguistic minority is based on language, okay? So candidates uh, of Tamil, Telugu, Kodava, and Tulu, and these candidates should be of Karnataka. These are Karnataka candidates, but their mother tongue is Tamil, Telugu, Kodava or Tulu and these candidates should be domiciled in Karnataka and the earlier clause also applies. They should have studied in Karnataka for a period of 10 years from class 1st to 12th. Only if a candidate is Karnataka domiciled and they have studied in Karnataka from uh, 1st standard to 12th standard in this period they have studied for 10 years then they will be eligible under the linguistic minority. So next is the Karnataka private seats open quota. So in this open quota, candidates from all over India are eligible. So this is the quota which is at a lower fee structure and candidates mostly from other states will apply for this quota. Okay. So Karnataka private seats, open quota. Earlier we saw the GMP quota that is, that is only for Karnataka candidates. The open quota is for uh, candidates all over India. Other state candidates can also apply. Next is the Karnataka these are also private seats but they are called other seats they are called q seats okay so for the other seats uh, who is eligible candidates from all over india are eligible but nra pio and foreign nationals will not be eligible okay nra pio ocis and foreign nationals will not be eligible because there is a separate nra quota where these candidates will come under so these candidates will not be eligible for the other seats or q seats Next is the Karnataka NRA quota. So for NRA quota, all NRA candidates, NRA wards, uh, PIO, OCI candidates and foreign nationals are eligible. So NRA wards is nothing but NRA sponsored candidates. So NRA candidates, sponsored candidates, PIO, OCI and foreign nationals are also eligible for the uh, Karnataka NRA quota seats. Okay. So uh, we have covered the complete quota. Hope you uh, found this video useful. Uh, we'll be doing uh, separate videos on different sections of Karnataka counselling. Uh, the roundways rules, the choices that are to be filled, how to do the option entry. So stay tuned for more videos. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you are looking for any particular information, get in touch with us. Uh, for the subscribers, we have a Telegram Pro group and for non-subscribers, we also have a Telegram group that you can join. You can also call us on our mobile number. It will be listed on the description. You can go through it and give us a call for any queries that you have. Thank you and we'll see you in our future videos. Bye.